Hey guys, what I thought we'd do is have a quick look at how we can use Bitcoin mining on the Raspberry Pi. Now the Raspberry Pi itself is not very powerful at all, but I thought um, we can use um, ASIC miners um, to basically increase that power um, on its own. And so what we're going to basically do in this video is just look at the software that's been developed for the Raspberry Pi that allows you to, to mine Bitcoin. Um, it's basically a, a whole operating system for the for the Pi um, and um, it's designed specifically for mining using ASICs. So you can't kind of like mine using the CPU or something with the Raspberry Pi. Um, which would be pretty much pointless anyway because you won't get hardly any hash rate at all. So um, I've got four ASICs um, on order. They should turn up hopefully um, within the next two or three days. As soon as they do, I will do a video on them and I'm not going to take them out of the package and then have a look at them and test them and then put a video up. I decide that what I'll do is just do it straight, you know, on video, full stop sort of thing. So basically, you will see what I will see um, as far as how it works, how easy it is to set up, that sort of thing. So anyway, so that's kind of the, the brief, you know, description over um, of kind of what I'm doing. Um, next we will just have a quick look at the screen on um, where you download the software. The software is actually called Mine Peon. It's M-I-N-E-P-E-O-N. It's Mine Peon. Um, that's the um, that's the, that's the operating system that that has been developed to boot up on the Pi, and allow you to then mine um, easily with a nice GUI interface. So basically, what I do is I just have yeah, just show you basically the website where you get it from, and then just how it looks when it's up and running on the Pi, um, and um, then once I've got the um, the A6 in hand then I will do a nice new video and um, and show you you know how easily it is to to use these things and you know hopefully they will just plug in and they will work but of course Sod's law and maybe Murphy's law or whatever it is kind of you know kind of ine inevitable that I'm going to plug them in and, and they're not going to work first off but we will wait and see and like I say a couple of days as soon as I receive them, I will do the video and I will upload it, okay? So anyway, what we do now is just have a quick look at the computer. Sorry that it's not a full screen capture, it's only just done the video. I do need a new camera um, and a new computer. I am trying to save up these things, but on my current income it does, you know, does cost a lot of money. So, you know, any donations are welcome, of course. But I'm trying to save up for it, so eventually, you know, we will have a much better camera and stuff. But anyway, I'll take you to the screen, show you what's going on, and just okay, give you an so idea. Okay, so this is the um, Mind Peon website, where you can download the latest version. At the moment, the latest new release is 0.2.4. Okay, so basically, obviously, because you can't really see us on the screen that well. <coughs> I will say again, it's minepeon.com. That's m i n e p e o n dot com. All the links will be below on the video. Okay. So anyway, so if we get out of that, uh, what I want to do <coughs> is go to our actual Pi. I've actually got it set up here. So basically, it'd be the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And then you can see here we've got then the temperature, the moment it's sown, so it's saying 51.92, that's centigrade. Okay, CPU load is very low, and as we can see here, no devices at all. So like I say, I'm waiting to get the USB A6, plug them in, see what happens, and like I say, that'll be that that video will be will be short of me opening it up and trying it out. So pretty much that's it really in a sense. You've got the pause. <coughs> you've 
you can go there and you can add your different your different balls in each different one. Um, settings doesn't really give you much. You got your time zone. You got your password. There's mining information there about expected devices. I'll have to look into that because I don't quite fully understand about that. Your minor startup settings, which are kind of set by default with this um, with this software. But anyway, you can see there. Donation, if you want to donate, is basically set 15 minutes of your mining time donation to the guy that developed it. At the moment it's turned off, but that's purely because I'm testing it. Once I've got it up and running, then I will donate, you know, definitely some of my time, and if not, more coins, if I get some coins to the guy. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Not much more I can show you at the moment. Um, but like I say, once the, the USB ASICs arrive from my mail, then I will take them out of the package and I will do all of that on video so you will see what's going on, plug them in, see if they work first time. If they do, brilliant. If they don't, then there probably will be another video just to kind of explain what I've had to do to get them working. But we will see. But like I say, should be here within a day or two. Um, so anyway, I um, hope you found the video informative. Um, if you did, that's brilliant. Um, also, I will give my Bitcoin address below if you want to donate any funds towards getting a new camera so I can make some much better videos. Up to you guys. Um, but any help would be much appreciated. So, yeah, catch you in a couple of days. Alright, cheers guys.